Hello, this is Ron Clark bringing you lesson four in the self-healing Archaeus. Our subject in this lesson is a passive separation of the astromental body. This lesson is suitable only for those who have successfully completed step two of initiation into hermetics. The primary reason for this prerequisite is because a rudimentary elemental balance is essential for accomplishing a passive separation of the astromental body from the physical body. In the absence of a rudimentary elemental balance, this separation requires an accumulation of significant amounts of energy in order to overcome the natural resistance encountered when one tries to separate an imbalanced astral body from its physical shell. A secondary reason for this prerequisite is because by the completion of step two, your mental will has reached a level of great strength due to the sensory concentration exercises. The passive separation of your three bodies is entirely directed by your mental body, and this requires sufficient willpower and focus to achieve. One benefit of the passive separation of the astromental body from its physical shell is that it affords a deep degree of rest for the physical shell itself. This has a very healing effect that is rarely achieved in the course of a normal life. The effect is similar to sleeping, yet deeper due to the fact that during normal sleep the astromental body does not actually leave the physical shell. You will note that I have been referring to the astromental body instead of just your astral body. The reason I use this specific term is to emphasize the fact that without the mental body, the astral body is unconscious, inert, and incapable of activity of any sort. All astral wandering of any kind is accomplished by the conjoined astral and mental bodies, and since they act in unison, I call this conjoined body an astromental body. The first step in separation of the astromental body from its physical shell is a conscious act of withdrawing the mental body from the earth region of itself. Awareness is turned away from the direct perception of physical sensation and focused upon the water region of the mental body and the direct perception of emotional significance. When conscious awareness is withdrawn from the earth region of the mental body, there ceases to be conscious awareness of physical sensation. Without the ingredient of our conscious attention, the earth region of the mental body fades into the far background of awareness. By simultaneously focusing the whole of our attention upon the water region, we increase the strength of our astral body and bring it to the forefront of our conscious awareness. These two simultaneous acts constrict and condense the mental body into its water, air, and fire regions and place the mental body's focus within the astral body. This conjunction of the astral and mental bodies, wherein the mental body is focused upon its astral shell instead of its physical shell, is the true astromental body. So the first step in the passive separation will be a one-pointedness meditation wherein we focus our conscious awareness exclusively upon the experience of our astral body. The second step is a spatial one. Here we must willfully move our astromental body slightly away from the same space occupied by our physical shell. The ease with which this is accomplished depends upon how completely you have focused your conscious awareness within your astral body. If you are expecting only the physical sensations of movement, or are conceptualizing it in those terms, then this may be very difficult for you at first. Just remember that the only thing that can hinder this separation is your mind. So if you have difficulty, work at letting go of your preconceptions of what it should feel like. Be present and in the moment instead of off exploring the no time zone of speculation and expectation. In the Archaeus I will have you stand upright right next to your physical shell. At first you will focus exclusively upon the astral sensations of separation and of standing. You will examine your astral body from its earth region upwards. Once your astromental body is firmly and wholly separated, I will turn your attention toward an examination of your empty physical shell. 
Here you will have an opportunity to directly perceive the emotional significance of your own physical form, and to further increase the completeness of your separation from it. We will let the physical shell rest for several minutes total before returning our astromental body to it. The process of return is one of gentle descent and fully conscious reintegration. The first step of reintegration is to reoccupy the same space as our physical shell. This is done slowly and requires self-control to avoid the inclination to just snap right back in. The second step is to reintegrate the earth region of the mental body. This is accomplished by shifting the conscious awareness away from direct perception of the astral body and focusing it upon the direct perception of physical sensation. This too is done slowly and gently and, as usual, will involve the four elemental regions of the physical body. During the experience of observing your physical shell from the perspective of your separate astromental body, you will be instructed to notice a silver cord or thread that connects your astromental body to your physical shell. This is all that remains of the earth region of your mental body when your conscious attention is focused exclusively within your astromental body and when your astromental body occupies a different space than its physical shell. The earth region remains rooted in the physical shell and this is what keeps your physical body functioning enough to sustain its life. This is your physical shell's lifeline, so to speak. While this cord is eventually capable of nearly infinite elasticity, it is at first a fairly fragile thing which can easily be harmed. It's therefore important to treat your physical shell's lifeline with care and respect. After all, you have to return to that physical shell and suffer through any negative consequences your actions might cause. The things that harm this lifeline, and which you must avoid, are number 1. Snapping back into your physical shell. This violent return stresses the cord and bypasses the process of conscious reintegration, both of which leave you feeling out of sorts. So when you do return, it's wise to return gently and with full awareness of the entire process of reintegration. To avoid this snapping back effect, I suggest that you make sure you will not be disturbed while you're performing the Archaeus. Tell your housemates not to disturb you under any circumstances. Lock your door, unplug your phone, and turn off the lights. This becomes less important once you are proficient at the process of separation and reintegration. With practice, you will be able to effectively reintegrate your astromental body with your physical shell in an instant, with full awareness and no detrimental after effects. So if someone does disturb you, your return will remain under your control and not be harmful. The number two thing to avoid is wandering too far away from the location of your physical shell too soon. Since this is only the earth region of your mental body, it is the most rigid part and therefore the most prone to breaking. Imagine if you will a plastic clay-like substance that is at first hard but as you handle it and work it with your fingers it begins to loosen and become more and more pliable. With patience it will stretch as far as you can stretch your arms without breaking. But if you were to immediately try stretching it or try stretching it all the way when it's only just starting to loosen it would snap in two. Your silver cord, the lifeline between yourself and your physical shell, has these same properties. It can be broken. 99% of the time that this happens, the astromental body will immediately snap back into the physical shell. This is an almost insurmountable manifestation of the instinct of self-preservation, nature's way of making sure we don't kill ourselves, but the consequences are still quite unpleasant, albeit usually not terminal. The primary effect of a cord break is that the astromental body cannot fully reintegrate with the physical shell until the cord itself has healed. In other words, the fire, air, and water regions of the mental body are not fully integrated with the earth region. A very mild example of this would be a strong sense of feeling disconnected from events and your life, mentally and emotionally disoriented. Physical effects would be exhaustion and the worsening of any present ailments. In other words, take good care of your silver cord. If you always treat it conscientiously 
and with gentle care, then you will have absolutely nothing to worry about. Lesson 4 of the Archaeus demands that you already possess a strong will, and are in control of yourself to such a degree that if you are tempted to wander too far, or are lured by other actions that would harm your physical shell's lifeline, you will be capable of refusing the temptation and sticking to the task at hand. If in absolute honesty with yourself you do not yet possess this ability of self-direction in the face of temptation, then I very strongly suggest that you proceed no further with the Archaeus until you have developed it. The first three lessons will greatly help your progress in achieving that ability, so please focus yourself on them for now and return to Lesson 4 at a future date. A final issue I want to raise before moving on with the practice is what you should do if you have difficulty at first with the actual separation act of moving away from your physical shell. Since the recording may progress at a speed that doesn't match your own, I suggest that if you can't separate a pace with the recording, then spend the time while I'm talking about what to do after you've separated, focused instead upon the sensations of your astral body and the direct perception of emotional significance. Use that time to deepen your sense of separation from the earth region of your mental body. This will help prepare you for the next time you perform the lesson. So, let's turn now to the practice itself. Before we begin, make sure that you will not be disturbed. If you haven't done so already, then put the recording on pause and take a moment now to lock the door, turn off the phone, and turn out the lights. Situate yourself comfortably, either sitting upright with your hands resting gently on your thighs or lying down on your back. Now clear your mind of all unwanted, mundane concerns and thoughts. Now focus your awareness in the earth region of your physical body and quickly relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now move your awareness upwards to your water region and relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now move your awareness upwards to your air region and relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now move your awareness upwards to your fire region and relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now sense your entire head region as a whole. Add to this your chest region and sense both together. Add to this your abdominal region and sense all three together. And finally add your leg region and sense your entire physical body as a whole. Project your roots down into the soil below you and release every bit of negativity you might be holding. Now return your focus to sensing your entire physical body as a whole. Feel the solidity of the earth region, the fluidity of the water region, the lightness of the air region, and the electricity of the head region. Sense how these four regions penetrate each other and are a single, inseparable whole. Focus intently upon the physical sensation of your entire body.
This perception of pure physical sensation is the earth region of your mental body. Now push your awareness slightly outward until you feel the vibrant energy of your astral body. Focus just upon your astral body and the direct perception of emotional significance. Willfully turn your attention away from the earth region of your mental body and focus exclusively upon the water region of your mental body. Focus upon the emotional significance of the solid energy you perceive within the earth region of your astral body. Now move your awareness upward to the water region of your astral body and sense the significance of the fluid energy you perceive there. Now move your awareness upward to the air region of your astral body and sense the significance of the light energy you perceive there. Now move your awareness upward to the fire region of your astral body and sense the significance of the radiant energy you perceive there. Hold this awareness of your astral body's fire region and add to it the awareness of the air region. Sense how these two regions of your astral body exist as a unified whole. Hold this awareness of your astral body's conjoined fire and air regions and add to it the awareness of the water region. Sense these three regions of your astral body as a unified whole. Hold this awareness of your astral body's conjoined fire, air, and water regions and add to it the awareness of the earth region. Sense these four regions of your astral body as a unified whole. Focus all of your awareness upon the sensations of your entire astral body. Focus upon the direct perception of emotional significance. Hold this awareness of the water region of your mental body and add to it the awareness of the air region of your mental body. Incorporate the direct perception of thoughts and ideas into your direct perception of emotional significance and sense these two regions of your mental body as a unified whole. Hold this awareness of your mental body's conjoined water and air regions and add to it the awareness of the fire region of your mental body. Incorporate the direct perception of essential meaning into your direct perceptions of thoughts, ideas, and emotional significance. And sense these three regions of your mental body as a unified whole.
Focus all of your awareness upon the sensations and perceptions of your entire astromental body. Sense the fluidic emotional energy of the water region, the light thought energy of the air region, and the radiant energy of the essential meaning in the fire region. Sense how these three qualities of perception interpenetrate each other and form a unified whole. Now sense the parameters of your astromental body and imagine that this is your astromental skin. Feel your astromental skin. Your astromental skin is independent of your physical skin and you are able to move your astromental body independently of your physical shell. Without moving your physical body, raise the right hand and arm of your astromental body so that it is fully extended in front of you. Now lower it back into alignment with your physical position. Focus again upon the sensations and perceptions of your entire astromental body. Sense the astromental skin that defines the shape and size of your astromental body. Now without moving your physical body at all, slowly stand upright with your astromental body. If you were sitting in a chair, you should now be standing immediately in front of the chair with your back to your physical shell. If you were laying down, then you should be standing immediately at the feet of and facing away from your reclining physical shell. Stand perfectly still within your astromental body and focus your awareness upon the sensations you perceive. Sense the solid energy of the earth region of your astral body, the fluid energy of its water region, the light energy of its air region, and the irradiant energy of its fire region. Sense all four regions of your astral body as a unified whole, standing upright, independent of your physical shell. Hold this awareness of the water region of your mental body and add to it the awareness of the air region of your mental body. Sense their union. Hold this awareness of your mental body's conjoined water and air regions and add to it the awareness of the fire region of your mental body. Sense the unification of your entire astromental body. Now look through your astromental eyes and directly perceive the emotional significance 
of whatever lies directly in front of you in the room where you're standing. As you examine with your astromental eyes, also perceive the current of thoughts and ideas that underlie this direct perception of emotional significance. Now look still deeper and perceive the essential meaning that these thoughts and emotional significance give shape to. Now slowly turn to your right until you are looking directly at your empty physical shell. Resist any inclination to re-enter your physical shell with all of your mental willpower. Examine your physical shell with your astromental eyes and directly perceive the emotional significance of its form. Take a moment now to sense your astromental skin once again and reaffirm your separateness and independence from your physical shell. Now return to your examination of your physical shell. Once again directly perceive the emotional significance expressed by your physical form with your astromental eyes. Now look deeper and perceive the current of thoughts and ideas that underlie this direct perception of emotional significance. Now look still deeper and perceive the essential meaning that these thoughts and emotional significance give shape to. Now once again take a moment to sense your astromental skin and reaffirm your separateness and independence from your physical shell. Now take note with your astromental eyes of the silver cord that connects your astromental body and your physical shell. This is the life-sustaining umbilicus that keeps the autonomic functions of your physical shell continuing uninterrupted in the absence of your astromental body. Observe the subtle energy that flows along this cord and keeps your heart pumping and your lungs respiring. Directly perceive its emotional significance. Now look deeper and perceive the current of thoughts and ideas that underlie this direct perception of emotional significance. Now look still deeper and perceive the essential meaning that these thoughts and emotional significance give shape to.
Now once again, take a moment to sense your astromental skin and reaffirm your separateness and independence from your physical shell. Now take note with your astromental eyes of the rested state of your physical shell. Observe the slow, relaxed pace of its breathing and the flaccid muscles in its face. Directly perceive the emotional significance expressed by this state of physical relaxation. Take note also of the thoughts, ideas, and essential meaning that underlie your perception of emotional significance. Now once again, sense your astromental skin and reaffirm your separateness and independence from your physical shell. Sense your entire astromental body. Sense the solid earth region of your astral body. Add to this the fluid water region the light air region, and the radiant fire region of your astral body. Sense your entire astral body as a unified whole, and add to this awareness of the water region of your mental body, the awareness of the air region of your mental body. Sense your mental body's conjoined water and air regions and add to this the awareness of the mental body's fire region. Sense the unification of these three regions. Sense your entire astromental body as a unified whole. Now turn again to your right until you are once again facing away from your physical shell. Now slowly back into your physical shell and once again occupy the same space as your physical shell. Sense your astromental skin, independent of your physical skin. Now close your astromental eyes and relax into your physical shell. Let your astromental body fill your entire physical frame. And gently turn your awareness back to the earth region of your mental body and the direct perception of physical sensation. Become aware of your physical skin, muscle, and bone, and integrate the vibrant energy of your astromental skin into every cell of your physical body. Shift your attention to the earth region of your physical body and integrate the solid energy of the earth region of your astral body into it. Spread this energy throughout your leg region. Move your awareness upward to the water region of your physical body and likewise integrate the fluid energy of your astral body's water region into that of your physical body. Spread this energy throughout your abdominal region.
Move your awareness upward to the air region of your physical body and integrate the light energy of your astral body's air region. Spread this energy throughout your chest region. Now move your awareness upward to the fire region of your physical body and integrate the radiant energy of your astral body's fire region. Spread this energy throughout your head region. Hold your awareness of the conjoined astral and physical fire regions and add to it the awareness of your conjoined astral and physical air region. Sense these two elemental regions as a unified whole. Hold the awareness of these conjoined astral and physical fire and air regions and add to it the awareness of the conjoined astral and physical water region. Sense these three elemental regions as a unified whole. Now hold the awareness of these conjoined astral and physical fire, air, and water regions and add to it the awareness of the conjoined astral and physical earth region. Sense these four elemental regions as a unified whole. Sense your entire physical astromental body as a single unified whole. Now send your roots deep down into the soil below and release any excess of energy that you may feel. Now turn your attention away from your roots and back to the sensing of your physical body. Now begin your return to normal awareness. Before opening your eyes or moving your body, take a moment to listen to the noises around you, smell the air, and so on. Now take a deep breath and exhale it gently. Now move your hands up along your thighs and up your abdomen and chest, up to your face, top of your head, and slowly back down again, awakening your body to normal sensation. Now gently open your eyes and slowly begin to physically move about. This ends Lesson 4 of the Self-Healing Archaeus concerning the passive separation of the astromental body. I suggest that you use this recording as your guide only for as long as it takes you to learn this technique. Once you have memorized the working pattern and have succeeded in following along with this recording a couple of times, you should try the technique solo without the use of the recording. It is imperative that you learn to perform this technique without my guiding voice if you wish to continue on to the next lessons. When this technique becomes easy for you to perform, you may move on to lesson 5 and the passive separation of the solitary mental body. My best to you.